What is going on everybody? Welcome to part 28 of our Matplotlib tutorial series. In this part, what we're going to be talking about is plotting and connecting lines with base maps. So first of all, let's go ahead and choose uh, some different coordinates here to start with. We're just going to plot with the United States. So we're going to change um, this to 25. This will be one negative 130 and then 50 and then negative 60. So that should give us the United States. Yes. Okay. So we've done that. We can probably stop drawing um, the states. Well, we can leave them there. We can probably just stop the blue marble, I suppose. <laughs> Let's uh, run that one more time. Good. Okay. So uh, now that we've done that, let's talk about actually like plotting some stuff. So first of all, after here, uh, let's define some coordinates. Let's make some space. Um, and what we're going to do is, let's say for NYC lat and then NYC long, uh, that's going to be equal to, so New York City is 40.7 north and then 118 west with some decimals. So 40.7127 and then because it's west, that'll be um, minus 74.0059. I might have said 118. I can't remember what I told you guys, but the other one's for LA. So anyway, uh, this is New York City, okay? Now we have to convert this. So notice these are the latitude and longitude. So like I was saying before, lat long is really yx so at some point they have to be flipped and here's where we're going to do it we're going to say xpt ypt for x point y point equals m and then we pass through the uh, nyc long and then nyc lat there's where our flip has occurred just for the record now to plot these we can plot them really simply by going m dot plot so it's kind of like pi plot plot and then xpt ypt so we can save and run that and we've plotted it although we don't have a marker here so we need to add a marker so kind of like matplotlib when you first plot it wants to draw lines but if you just have one point you're never going to see it so we're going to change our little marker so you remember like that you can do that well we can also do like uh let's say we want the marker to be cyan and we're gonna have it just be a circle that is filled in. So let's go ahead and run that real quick. So New York City now is being marked with a little uh, point on the map. So uh, let's close that and uh, we can do a few things here. So you can also do like a star. So you could do like a star like that. There are a ton of markers and uh, you can always go to like matplotlib and like search marker types. There's just a ton of them. You can do like a triangle like this uh, and plot that. Um, I think we'll do a star though. And then the other thing you can add is marker size. So we can say marker size and say that's 15. So now you can really see it hopefully. Right, that's much larger. Uh, let's go back, we'll make that a star. We'll say New York City is our destination or something. Now, um, what we can do also is like, let's plot uh, Los Angeles, California. So we'll say LA lat, LA long, and that is equal to 30.4.05 and then negative 118.25. And then we'll convert those again with XPT, YPT equals M and then uh, LA long, LA lat. And then again, we can plot those. So m dot plot xpt ypt, and then we'll plot this one as um, I don't know a green triangle, and then marker size equals 15 again. Okay, so let's save and run that real quick just to get a look at what we're doing. So Los Angeles is here, uh, New York City is plotted there. Cool. So we've got these markers and stuff, but then what about how to like what about connecting them? So we can close this, and then what we can actually do is we can we can plot graphs no different than any other way we've plotted graphs in Matplotlib before. Uh, we just need the x's and y's. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's do x's equals a list, and then y's equals a list. And now what we can do is once we've defined xpt and ypt, what we can do is like x's dot append uh, xpt y's dot append ypt 
and then do the exact same thing again uh, down here. Paste. So we just copy and pasted that. Uh, now we can actually plot the entire thing. So now we can say m.plot x is y's. So let's go ahead and run that real quick. Right, so now we have a line that's being drawn between these two points. Now we can do all kinds of stuff with this line. We can do basically all the things that we've done in the past. So we can say line width equals three. Um, we can also give it a label. So we can say label and we'll call this, we'll, we'll pretend we're flying. So we say flight 98. And, um, and we can also give it a color. So we can say color equals, uh, let's give it a color of red. So let's plot that real quick. Whoops, what happened? Uh, color of red comma. All right, so now we've got that kind of connection that's happening there between these two plots. Um, so we can close that. Now, a lot of times with, um, oh, the other thing too, let's go ahead and add that legend before I forget. So let's do uh, plt.legend. So now we'll have a legend. And so it's like, you know, flight 98. The other thing we can do is like change the location as we've learned. So like loc equals four. So now it's like down here, kind of out of the way of everything else anyway. So that's pretty cool. Now, another thing that we can do is kind of add like a slight arc to the line. So a lot of times, like if you're kind of connecting two points, I don't know, to kind of give it some flavor, people usually add a little bit of a curve. So what we can do is actually use this thing called draw great circle. So what we can do here is that M dot draw great circle. And to draw the great circle, you give the the first coordinates, the second coordinates, and then everything else like a line. So the first coordinates would be, um, and there, these would be in long and lat again. So don't do lat long, long lat. So we would do, for example, uh, NYC long, NYC lat, and then uh, what was our other one? LA long, LA lat, and then uh, we could leave it that way for now, and just so you can see what I mean. So that now we've got like this arcing blue line basically here. Uh, we can close that, and we can now do uh, color equals, and we'll make the cyan line width, same thing, three. And then let's give it a label, and we'll just call it the arc. So there you go. Now you've got your graph. You've got your two connections here, flight 98. And this one's just like the arc, basically, let's say. Um, so that's how you can start connecting lines. And obviously, you could just keep going connecting lines via coordinates. The arc can only be between two coordinates. But as far as like drawing these straight lines, it's no different than really any other you know, mapping and stuff. So that's it for the base map, a uh, little mini series here. Uh, in the next tutorial, what we're gonna be talking about is 3D graphing. So another topic we've kind of covered before, but I just figured might as well update that series with everything else. So stay tuned for that. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions and until next time.